let's face it, most commercial vans in their raw form, out the gate, they don't come with a whole lot of storage built in. And while you can go ahead and build shelves and baskets and drawers and that kind of stuff, that usually takes lots of time and money. And what if you want to get organized right now, today, yesterday? What options do you have? Maybe you just got a brand new shiny van and you're super eager to take it on its maiden voyage and you don't want to wait weeks or even months. What do you do then? Lucky for you, I've been pondering on this for a very long time and I've come up with a few really simple, really easy storage solutions. And that's exactly what I want to discuss in this video today. The first two things I'm going to discuss are super low budget solutions for storage. After that, I'm going to move on to a slightly more pricey solution. Uh, this is a product that a friend of mine makes that I want to review for him. And I think you're going to be excited to see what he's got cooking because he essentially produces pouches that fit on the back of most car seats. And these pouches make it really super simple to store things and organize them just beautifully. So without further ado, let's get organized, shall we? The first solution is the Sorterra IKEA bins. IKEA, aka Swedish Walmart, makes a durable plastic bin called the Sorterra. The Sorterra is made in two different sizes. It comes in 10 and 16 gallon versions. If you're a van lifer, the smaller 10 yeah. gallon bin is the one you'll be after. This 10 gallon bin fits perfectly under the back seat of a Sprinter van. You don't even need to purchase the lid because the bin with the lid on doesn't fit under the seat anyway. Once you wedge the Sorterra under the seat, you'll be able to securely store small to medium sized objects or random van junk in this bin. Best of all, these bins only cost about 10 bucks a piece. So for roughly 20 bucks, I was able to purchase two of these bins, thus instantly and substantially increasing the amount of van storage that I had in my rig. And I did this without touching any sort of power tools. So how's that for a van life hack for you? The next low budget DIY option is a cargo net. Trunk storage nets are essentially envelope shaped nets that attach to four anchor points. Once installed, drivers can place all sorts of different items into these nets to prevent them from sliding around when the vehicle is in motion. Long story short, I installed a cargo net on either side of my van bed to hold extra clothes and other soft goods. Recently, I added a third cargo net horizontally under my loft bed for storing more miscellaneous stuff. This addition allows me to easily access certain items when I'm gearing up for outdoor adventures. Things like towels and hats and gloves, just anything that I want easy access to. Furthermore, since these nets have holes in them and holes enable excellent ventilation, this storage area allows me to dry wet things, wet clothes, wet suits, wet towels, that kind of thing. Like most things, these cargo nets are sold on Amazon and they retail for about 10 bucks a piece. And I'm gonna put links to all of these things in the description below. So now that I've discussed some low-tech, low-budget options, I'd like to switch gears and talk about a few premium storage solutions. Feast your eyes. In front of you, you see four different organizers made by OverlandGearGuy.com. The products that you see on camera right now are essentially heavy-duty bags that can be slung onto the back of any seat in any vehicle, thus adding extra storage. So let's do this. First, let's cruise around and I'll talk about each of these bags individually. And then once we're done doing that, we'll jump in the van and I'll show you how they work. So in front of me right here, you see three different backseat organizers. You have the blue one, you have the black one, and you have the gray one. A backseat organizer is exactly what it sounds like. It's a pouch that you can hang off the back side of your seat whether that be a van seat or a truck seat or an SUV seat or even a compact car seat. And these pouches will help you get seriously organized. They have all sorts of different pockets and mesh compartments. So whether you're storing utensils for eating or pocket knives or books or whatever, you'll be able to neatly organize your life. Additionally, over here you have a Sprinter van visor organizer with a mirror. And I'm gonna talk about that in depth here in just a second. So I propose that we start with the blue thing. The blue seat organizer is actually called the ProMaster 2 seat organizer. And then we'll just go left to right and talk about each one of these individually. So like I just mentioned, this blue pouch in front of me is the ProMaster 2 seat organizer. 
Now the name is sort of deceiving. It implies that it's only for Dodge Promasters, which is not true. You can use this pouch in Sprinter vans and Ford Transits and beyond. If it fits the back of your car seat, it's gonna work. The name Promaster 2 is really just a model number. So it's just a way for the company to differentiate this one from that one from that one. The name of the game for all of these pouches is pockets. All of these things have tons of pockets. They have all sorts of slide in pockets. Um, and I have my bin of junk here. So, you know, you have a hard drive. You want to know where it is? You slide it in there. It just fits perfectly. It doesn't go anywhere. It stays safe. Everybody's happy. Maybe you have a deck of cards and you always want to know where your deck of cards is. There's a nice little mesh pocket for that. Moving down the line, you have bigger pouches. In the bigger pouches, you can store things like speakers. Never want to lose your speaker again? Stick it in a pouch. Now it's secure and stowed and you know exactly where it is. Now the Overland Gear Guy, he also sells little identifiers that are Velcro. And so you could just smash one of those and now everything is color coded and labeled. And if you're an organization freak, kind of like me, that just tickles me. I love seeing that. And all of his pouches have that. So, you know, if you buy one and then decide to get a second one, you can transfer the Velcro stuff from one to the other interchangeably. And it's awesome. Now, maybe you have some bigger stuff. Like here, I have this little lighting kit that houses all my Lytra lights. And often, it's just kind of floating around in the van, and I don't know what to do with it. Luckily, these bags have me covered. I can just stow this little guy in here. And now it's out of the way. It's safely stowed. People peering into my van aren't going to be able to see that it's there. Everybody's happy. In addition to the pockets that I've already discussed, Rob, the owner of the company, who has an extensive law enforcement EMT firefighter background, decided to incorporate Molly webbing into a lot of his products. And if you're unfamiliar with Molly webbing, it's essentially a mechanism for customizing your product to the max. So Molly webbing actually stands for modular lightweight load carrying equipment. And what it enables you to do is attach various items however you see fit. So you could put a pocket knife on this bag. You could also sling your sunglasses. You could put a wide array of pens on this bag if you want to. You also have the option of sticking pens in their dedicated pouches. This bag appears to have two of them. Overall, this thing is a beauty. I mean, let's just go through real quick and count the pockets. I'm curious. So we got one, two, three, four. There's another pocket in here that's perfect for your wallet. Five. You got six, seven, eight. Big pocket behind here. Nine. Could fit like a first aid kit and maybe some bear spray. I lost count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Each one of these pockets also has another pocket in there, so twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. And then you have more pockets over here. 25, 26, 27. If I counted these pockets correctly, you have 27 different pockets to work with. This means that you'll never have any more van junk just floating through your van haphazardous. You'll be able to keep everything organized in one place. Moving right along, this is the Sprinter Seat Organizer. And just like with the ProMaster bag, the name Sprinter Van is just a model number and it doesn't mean that you can't use this with other vehicles. So this is another beautiful specimen. It also has a bunch of different pockets, 
Um, it's got some slide in pockets, so you can take a camera lens that would otherwise be sitting on the dash baking in the sun, and you can securely store it there. Headlamp, these are super essential to have on hand. I always misplace mine. With the seat organizer, you could just zip it in, and now you can see it and you know where it is every single time. How about some air freshener? People fart in vans all the time. Vans get a little stinky. You just slide this guy right there and you'll always know where it is. But wait, there's more. Maybe you don't wanna keep your sunglasses in the molly webbing because they'll scratch. You could just go ahead and slide them in there and now they're safe. Down below you have some bigger pouches. The pouches also have extra pockets all over them. This one right here might be perfect for like toiletries. You can stick your toothbrush in here, your razor, that kind of thing. There's a little hook in here where you can clamp some keys, maybe some house keys if you have a house. If you live in a van, you could figure out something else to clip there. No problem. This one right here, another big pouch. Might be perfect for storing your underwear. I don't know. One of my favorite features of this bag in particular, the Sprinter Seat Organizer, is the fact that it has a huge pouch up top. And this pouch is specifically designed to hold two or three large laptops. So if you have a 15 inch laptop, just like this, you can slide that in. If you pretend that this is another laptop, you can slide that in. And now you can zip it up and conceal your precious computer. So now you're not advertising to the rest of the world that you're stacking computers in your van. Furthermore, the laptops are out of the way. They're safe and secure. So you're not gonna accidentally step on your laptop when you're walking through your van and it's just floating around. This thing helps keep you organized. Just for the heck of it, let's count the pockets because that's fun. So you got your two up top, your two mega pockets up there. That's one, two. You got a bunch of molly webbing that doesn't count as pockets. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Dang, that's a lot of pockets. Real quickly before I move on to the smaller brother, I forgot to mention that both of these organizers, both the ProMaster as well as the Sprinter seat organizer, they measure roughly 19 inches wide and 31 inches long. So 19 inches wide, 31 inches long, and the same for that. So maybe while you're on your organization kick, you don't just want to organize your van, you also want to do another car that you own. Maybe it's an SUV, maybe it's a station wagon, and you don't need such a big pouch for your smaller vehicle. If that's the case, the universal seat organizer is for you. While these bigger pouches measure 19 inches wide by 31 inches long, the smaller pouch is a more condensed version. So this one is 17 inches across and 21 inches long. That said, it still has all the same great features. It has lots of pockets, little pockets where you can put your deck of cards, the pockets also have Velcro on them, so you can continue labeling your goods however you see fit. There's bigger pockets where you can stick all sorts of stuff like, um, you know, sunglasses or wallets or whatever. You got your Molly webbing because that's always handy for random stuff. The bigger pouches have smaller pouches in them. So again, you can throw your hard drives in there. You can store your speakers or whatever you want. And then down below, 
you have an even bigger pouch that also has another little zippered pouch that's maybe perfect for your wallet. And, you know, things like a lighting kit will easily fit right there. So I could play around with these things forever. I think you guys get the picture though, so I won't be a broken record. Essentially, these things are backseat organizers that will drastically improve the quality of your life in a van. Each and every one of these products is built exceptionally well. The stitching is immaculate. The pocket arrangement is perfect. All of the products are made in the United States. I think that's cool. Um, I mean, the fabric looks super duper durable. It's not gonna rip or tear. It's not gonna stain very easily. It's gonna serve you for many, many years to come. And for all these reasons, it's very easy for me to recommend these seat organizers. I'll fill you in on a little secret, and that's that every product that I review on this channel has already been vetted by me. These are products that I stand behind, things that I would use myself, and I never review crap. So, now you know. Last but not least, we have the Sprinter Van Visor Organizer. Now, unlike the other things that I mentioned, I do believe that the Sprinter Visor is actually meant for Sprinter Vans. Different cars have different sized visors. So I'm not saying that this won't fit other vehicles, but I am saying that you should double check that it'll, it'll fit a non-sprinter vehicle should you choose to go that route. So this thing is a pretty sweet little pouch. It has all sorts of little mesh netting where you can stick a pocket knife. Let's actually put it back here. You know, you can stick a little pocket knife. You could stick some pens. Again, you have your Velcro. You can organize your stuff. How nice is that? You have some clear plastic pouches that you could put your ID or insurance card in and you'll never lose it again. On the back side, you have some more pockets as well as a mirror. So believe it or not, when you buy a 40 or $50,000 van, like a Sprinter van, often they don't have mirrors in the visor, which seems crazy, right? Like, come on guys, a mirror doesn't cost that much. Give us that. So what the Overland gear guy did is he engineered a mirror into his pouch. And so if you ever need to, you know, check something in your eye or redo your makeup, maybe trim your beard a little bit on the road, you'll be able to do that. The visor also features this ability to take the mirror out. So should you ever need to replace the mirror because it's broken, you'll easily be able to do that and you won't have to buy a whole new visor. Okay, so let's talk about prices. How much do these things cost? The ProMaster 2 seat organizer retails for about 180 bucks. The Sprinter Van seat organizer retails for 260. The Universal Seat Organizer retails for about $150, and the Sprinter Visor Organizer with the mirror sells for $70. Some people are definitely gonna complain about the price, and I guess that's just YouTube life for you. I will say this. I used to sell things for a hobby, so I'd make things like my shirt, my shorts. I didn't make this, but I used to make stuff like this. And I know firsthand that buying sewing material is really expensive. So in other words, if I were to try and replicate these seat organizers from scratch, I would spend way more money. Given everything that I've already discussed, I definitely think that these things are worth the money. Uh, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that one of my mottos is buy nice or buy twice. And these seat organizers are very, very nice. I think that if you end up purchasing them, they'll serve you for many, many years and you'll be a happy camper. And in order to save you a little bit of money, I was able to negotiate a discount code. You can use promo code SERGEY10 at checkout and save 10% on your order. Now that you know everything there is to know about these pouches, let's hop into my van and I'll show you what they look like installed. 